Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to explain and demo Salesforce push topic, how to create push topic, how to subscribe push topic, and how to process the event from push topic in Mule project. Push topic binds a name to the Salesforce query. Whenever Salesforce change the fields and the records, Associated with the query, Salesforce generate a change event notification. External system can subscribe to the push topic and they can process the events. External system can subscribe to the push topic using replay topic listener or using subscribe topic listener. For push topic demo, I will switch to the AnyPoint Studio now. I will create a new Mule project. File new Mule project. I will give the name push topic Salesforce. I will click finish. I will drag HTTP listener. I will create connector configuration. I will keep these configuration values default. I will click OK. I will give path class topic. Now I will add Salesforce connected to the project. I will click add modules. I will select Salesforce and drag it here. I will keep the version 10.13.3. Click Add. Salesforce connector has been added to the project. In your case, if you do not find Salesforce connector in Mule Palette, you might need to import it from Exchange. I have already created a video on how to import module from Exchange. You can watch that video. I will provide the video link in description. To create the push topic in Salesforce, I will drag the push topic in the flow. So I will drag this push topic here. I will create the connector configuration. Here we need to provide the authentication option the authentication method to connect to the salesforce these are the options for salesforce authentication for this demo i will use basic authentication basic authentication requires username password and security token to get the username password and security token you need to create a developer account in salesforce you can use this link to create the developer account in Salesforce. I have already created a developer account. I got the username, token and password. I will copy the username. Paste it here. I will copy security token. Paste it here. I will enter my password. I will click OK. Now I will enter the name of the push topic. I will give the name account update topic 11. Now I will enter the Salesforce query. Select ID, name, account number, annual revenue, willing state from account. 
we have associated this Salesforce query to this push topic. When this push topic will be created in Salesforce, this push topic will be bind to this Salesforce query. Now I will add a transform message component. I will change the format to JSON. I will return simple message. Push topic has been created. Now I will run the project. I will save it. This project has been deployed. Now I will invoke this resource slash topic and I will run this flow. Once I invoke this resource slash topic from Chrome browser, this will associate account update topic 11 topic to this Salesforce query. So let me go to the Chrome browser. Topic, so I will invoke topic resource, click enter. Okay, we got the message. Push topic has been created. Now we have created the topic. Now I will subscribe the topic. So I need to drag the subscribe topic listener method. To the canvas. I will refresh the topic list. Okay, we have the topic name, post topic name here. I will select this account update topic 11. That's what we created here using this flow. Now I will add the transform message component. I will change the format to JSON. So this transform message will convert the event payload to JSON format. Now I will log this event. I will save the project. Now this project will be redeployed. So it's getting redeployed. Okay, redeployed. Now we got this message subscribing to the channel slash topic slash account update topic 11. So we already subscribed. Now I will go to Salesforce and update some account record. Log into Salesforce. Enter my username, password. Click login. I will go to service. I will click account. I will change the list view. New this week. I 
I will make change to this record 2390 count number. I will change the billing state to KL Kerala. I will change the annual revenue from null to 35 890. I will save it. Go back to studio. We got the event. We change the billing state to Kerala and we change the annual revenue to 45,890 for this account 2390 name Rachel that's what we did Rachel 2390 billing estate is Kerala annual revenue is 45,890 now let me add a new account I will give the name David account number 6798 annual revenue 2460 willing city Mumbai willing state MA now I will save this record, go back to studio, we got another event, name David, account number 6798, willing state Maharashtra, annual revenue 2460, that's what we added here in Salesforce. In the list 6798 David Mumbai Maharashtra 2460 and that's what we have 2460 6798 David Maharashtra we can also subscribe using one more component that is called replay topic listener so I will drag the replay topic listener now I will select the topic name account update topic 11 we have to choose replay option so these are the available option all means all the events within 24 hour from last replay ID means uh, any event that generates after the last successful event processed by Salesforce connector from replay ID means any event after a specific replay ID only new means we will only get the new events so I will select only new Now I will drag a transport message component. I will change the format to JSON and I will change the format of event payload and I will log the event. So for that I will log the payload. We can delete this or keep it. Let's delete it. So now we are using replay topic listener. So this will subscribe this topic account update topic 11 and process the message. Let's save the project. This will redeploy the project again. 
So it's redeploying. Okay, project has been redeployed and replay topic listener has subscribed this topic slash topic slash account update topic 11. That's what we created. I will clear the console, go to Salesforce. Now I will update this record. I will change the account name, David. Valor. I will change the revenue to 24,000. I will save it. Go back to studio. We got the event. We change the name from David to David Valor. We change the annual revenue to 24,000. That's what we are getting. And that's what we change it here. We can create a new account. Account name Tom. Account number 66,000. Annual revenue. 20,000 Willing City Pune State Maharashtra I will save the record Okay, record has been created Account Tom Let's go back to studio We got the event Name Tom Account number 66,000 and annual revenue 20,000. That's what we created. Let me go back. So we created the record Tom. Account number 66,000. Pune Maharashtra. Annual revenue 20,000. That's what we have here. So this is how you can create the push topic and you can subscribe the push topic. You can subscribe using replay topic listener or subscribe topic listener and you can process the event generated from the push topic. I hope you understood the concept. If you like this video, click the like sign and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.